did you know Korean before you left? I did, but I wasn't that good. I was just speaking with my mom mostly. And now? And now my uh, now my Korean and my English both suck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no lingo <laughs> is what I call it. Can communicate with no one. No one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's the easiest communication is though when they speak like Korean and English. Well, <laughs> then I'm like, okay, I'm doing this like Konglish thing where I'm speaking Korean and English at the same time. I mean, I understand like 10 years is a lot of time it is to be somewhere. Time. Oh, yeah. I learned a lot, though. You know, I think um, the biggest thing for me was I wanted to sound native mm. because me coming from America, but looking like this, <laughs> obviously Korean um, and speaking in Korean, but being really bad at it was... You know, I didn't want that, I guess. Mm. So I, I, I studied. I know how to read and write Korean very well. Maybe even better than English now. I mean, you're good enough to be on TV. Oh. You uh, hosted yeah. stuff over there. Yeah. I, I think, honestly, I think Korean is a little bit easier for me, to be honest, at this point. Why? I don't know, because that's what I've been speaking for, like, nine, ten years, and um, that was my young adulthood, right? Does oh. anybody casually speak English over there? Um, there are, you know what, I have friends there that are from America as well, so they're kind of like me, they speak Korean and English, but, uh, yeah, they all know how to speak English, not that they're really speaking it, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they learn it, but. 